Hi everybody, welcome to North Star Knife Reviews. Today uh, we're going to be taking a look at a hardware store knife. Now, during the mid-20th century, from you know maybe the 1920s up until the 1960s, early 70s, there were a number of hardware stores that sold private label knives, and this is one of them. Uh, this is from Gamble's. Right, Gamble's stores. Um, Gamble's was a chain that of, of automotive and hardware stores that started in St. Cloud, Minnesota in 1925. And they were very successful almost instantaneously. Uh, within 10 weeks of that first store opening, they had four more stores in the Dakotas. Um, by 1928, they had 53 stores. By 1939, 1,500. And by the 1970s, they had 4,200 stores in 39 states. And they were actually the 15th largest retailer in the United States. Now, the Gamble stores have a special place in my family history because, uh, in some sense, Without Gamble stores, I wouldn't be here. My grandfather, my mother's dad, uh, moved from Minnesota to Iowa in the 1930s to open a Gamble's hardware store uh, in the small town in Iowa where I was born and grew up. With him, he brought his family including the girl who later became my mother. So, as I say, if not for Gambles, I might not be here today. Now, these knives were made in Minneapolis between the 1930s and the 1950s. So, there is a pretty good chance that he sold, at his Gamble store, knives very similar to to this. Now, one thing that I really liked about this knife is it's one of the few connections I have to my grandfather. He died before I was born. I never met him. You know, I've, I've seen pictures. I've heard some stories. Uh, but this is something I can hold in my hand. And even though the chances of this exact knife being sold uh, from his store is infinitesimally small, one just like it probably did get sold. And so I can hold this and it connects me to my grandfather in a way that I would not be able to be connected if I did not have this knife. So even though it's not worth a lot of money, it has a lot of sentimental value to me. Uh, it didn't come from him, I bought it secondhand, but it still provides a connection. Now, let's take a look at this knife. It's called a farmer's stock knife with a punch. Uh, you can see it has black delrin or some type of material like that. Uh, covers on the handles. Three pin construction. Nickel silver bolsters and a nickel silver shield. Brass liners. Two back springs. Uh, fit and finish is so-so, but you know it was a hardware store knife. They were meant to be used. And these fit and finish issues don't affect the utility. The main blade is a clip point. See, it's got a long pull on it. Carbon steel. And you can see the tang stamp it says Gamble Stores. main blade uh, is about two and a half inches long. Then has a secondary blade, uh, a spay blade, as you can see. No tank stamp, nothing on this. Uh, it does have a nail neck. And the length on this is about one and three quarter inches. And then, I oh, know the springs are pretty weak on this, then lastly, it has a little punch. Now, not the sharpest, best punch in the world, but uh, you know, probably served its purpose. 
and this punch is right about an inch long. Now, as I say, these hardware store knives are fairly inexpensive. They were meant to be used. If you find them, they're generally not uh, in the greatest of shape, but they're still kind of cool. And this one is especially cool and important to me because of the connection uh, that I can make when I hold this to my grandfather. I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.